Happy Vlogmas Day 5, numero 5. I'm with Ange. You guys already know Angie. Hi guys. And if you don't know, it's at Miss Angie Mar. Okay? Okay. So we're on our way to Karen McKenna Salon. I'm getting a haircut and a keratin treatment. And you're getting a hair conditioning treatment and a haircut and probably just like a little style. A little wave. Yeah. Fix the situation I got going on up here. Because after we're going to a NYX party. It's like a NYX unveiling of like 2020 products, like a launch party. So I'm excited for that. We figured we would just stay in the city. But keratin takes mad long, so we're gonna be there for a minute. So we're gonna have a long day. And I forgot my camera. The struggle is real. I had to go back. We were literally already about to get on the highway, and then we're like, hold on. I'm gonna get fired because I need my camera. I need to vlog. You need to vlog. It's Vlogmas. Okay. The people need their content. Right. So now we're here. So. We're here, we're charged, and we might go to Sephora in between, possibly get an Instagram picture moment in between, who knows? We're gonna do our Might best. get crazy. Let's <laughs> try, we'll try our best. Right. About to get the best iced lattes that we've ever had. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this latte. The lady at Kara McKenna makes, what's her name? I don't know her name. Mm. But lady She's the bomb. She makes the best lattes. Yes. They're so good. I need at least two. Yeah, I'm gonna get two because like one in the beginning, one towards the end. They're that yummy. People go in just for those. It's just magical. So we're gonna get a hair done, get some lattes, then go maybe eat something, get something to drink, and then go to the next party. And then you never know what might happen afterwards. Even though we feel like crap, you know, when you put us together, we don't look we like will. it. We don't look too sick. And after we get our hair done, we might just we come feel alive. We feel ourselves, and we might go out after. Who knows? So I'll see you guys in a few when we're at the salon. One, two, three. I am out. We here. We're really at the floor touching up. Damn, girl. Who is she? She's slaying. I don't know. <laughs> Up to eight letters? Yeah, up to eight letters. I'm gonna show you this. So this is our new collection. It launches tomorrow, so it's a high class collection. Did you just see like this? The butter. I love that. I don't know where to look. No, we have to chuck the whole thing beginning to end. I don't want to hear nothing. Wow. In the kitchen, baby. <laughs> Oh, 
So I got these items from Grove and Target. From Target, I got the Mrs. Myers Clean Day Multi-Surface Everyday Cleaner in Snowdrop. This is probably my favorite scent. This one and the Mum scent, which are both actually like holiday scents. They're my favorites. This one smells like perfume. Like, I don't know, like a not too feminine perfume. It smells so good. I love this stuff. I always see Natalie Munoz also raving about this. So I'm happy I'm not the only one that's obsessed with this specific scent. I also got this from Target. This is the O-Cedar Microfiber Easy Ring Refill. Mine got gross really quickly, so I just picked up another one. I'm always changing these out just because even after washing it, I don't know, I just feel kind of gross using one that's been like used a couple of times. I don't know if it's just me, but I picked up another one of these. And then from Grove, I picked up this Aunt Fanny's Microcosmic Probiotic Powered Multi-Surface Cleaner in Lavender. I've never used an Auntie Fanny's cleaner. I do have their insect spray, which I've never actually used, but I got it from Grove as well. And Grove, if you guys didn't know, is a website that sells like organic and natural products cleaning products beauty products but mainly I just get like household things so cleaning stuff so I got that from there I also love this brand from that I get at Grove called Drea I have two of these room sprays and I love them I have the rose I think it's called rosewood driftwood or rose driftwood and I also have the I can't think of the name right now <laughs> but I have another one and I love it that's the point so I picked up the basil blue sage and I also love how the packaging is really cute and pretty if you have like you know a nice marble countertop and just this out it looks really fancy so this is again a linen and room spray so you can spray this in the air on your bed or whatever so I love that well I don't know if I'm actually let's go ahead and smell it right now <laughs> Not my favorite out of all of them. I still think the rose is my favorite and the other one that I have. This one kind of smells like medicine in a way. Hmm, interesting. I don't know. Not crazy about this basil blue sage, but whatever. I have it. It smells fresh. It smells like fresh, but it almost smells a little medicine-y. This is my favorite floor cleaner. It's from Method. You can get it at Target, but I picked one up at Grove because I had some credits. So this is the Method Squirt and Mop. I love this for hardwood floors. It doesn't leave my floor sticky. You don't have to dilute it, which is amazing because I was using the Mrs. Myers Concentrate it's like water diluted, and no matter what, it leaves my floor like sticky and sudsy, and I don't like that. This one is awesome because it's really easy to use. Like you literally just squirt it on the floor. You can use any type of of like microfiber mop or any mop that you have and just clean your floor surface safe non toxic plant based and I like the almond scent it's nice and soft and comforting and it's really really easy to use I just love it and then lastly I picked up the method dish soap refill I have a simple human soap dispenser and I was gonna get a simple human brand like soap to go in it but it was really expensive so I figured I would just try this out honestly I don't need anything crazy I just need a dish soap in there this is the sim minerals tough on grease it had really good reviews for cleaning dishes so this is what I got from Target and Grove I'm missing one item from my Target order which is the steam mop that I told you guys about that didn't come in yet but I did get this giant thing this is a rug and a rug pad I hope it's gonna look nice it's like a shag rug it's cream I still haven't shown you guys my apartment and it's because it's like a work in progress. I'm still working on it. I have to change this huge basket. I have to get a smaller one because this is just so obnoxious. I did get a mirror recently. I'm in between this mirror. Those are Angie's luggages in the back, by the way. But this mirror, my mom actually gifted it to me for my birthday. It's from Wayfair and it's really pretty. But I think I need something a little wider. I don't know. I'm like... You know, obviously I love it, I'm gonna keep it, but I don't know if I should just put this one in my bedroom if I find a space, if I like rearrange some things and then put an Ikea mirror here. Basically it's just like a huge mirror that has no border and it's just like really, really tall. This one's pretty tall too, but this area right here is like a pretty big space to fill with a mirror. But I'm thinking if I put the Ikea mirror there and then a smaller basket here instead of this huge thing. But yeah, the situation is getting better all the boxes are out but I mean except for this one and that which is my TV mount um, but this rug needs to go down as well as the rug pad and that will happen very soon hopefully by the weekend so yeah just a little mini haul of what I got so what had happened was I'm pretty sure I have a sinus infection or something I have not been feeling well since yesterday so yesterday you saw Angie and I got our hair done we were there at the salon for about five hours and I was feeling pretty woozy I was feeling like I couldn't even stand up straight I was just really low energy Angie kept asking me what was wrong with me I guess I just seemed like I was in a bad mood but honestly I just didn't feel good I felt weak and I just felt like total crap so we were like in the Upper East Side or Madison and then we took an uber to 86th Street Sephora we were there for like a minute we were just 
catching up. You guys obviously saw that. Then we went to the next event, which is all the way in Union Square, so downtown. We were in the Uber for like an hour, and then we were at the event for an hour, then we left, went to go eat, but we had to wait another hour, so it was just like a long day. So then we went to a bar, and Angie thought it was a great idea to chug drinks, and your girl can't hang, like... I didn't even wake up hungover today, but I woke up feeling like I got run over by truck because I was already feeling sick and tired and then I drank and then I stayed up. I couldn't sleep because like my congestion was so bad. I took Sudafed, I've taken Dayquil, I've taken my allergy medicine. I'm just like, okay, I just have to wait this out. I've been drinking so much water, just trying to clear my body of whatever this is. I don't know if it's an ear infection. My ear was ringing earlier and I'm like, what is going on? So I'm currently not looking or feeling my best. I was at Target for literally two hours. I waited one hour for an online order. I don't even know why I decided to do that. I should have just canceled it and ordered again, but whatever. I had ordered a like comforter. It's like, um, I'll show you guys tomorrow. I honestly have no energy. I like made some food and just even cleaning up, I was just dying but i think i'm still going to mop my floor because i haven't in a minute since pretty much since before i left to florida so i do want to mop and just go to sleep honestly just go to bed i really expected to do so much today and i couldn't like my body just doesn't want to but i did go to bed bath and beyond and i did go to target i just ran back home i just wanted to be home so bad i was supposed to go to the movies i just said no to that so your girl is out for the night out for the count because i just know i need rest and I'm hoping tomorrow I wake up better. I have to plan my TV getting mounted. I got a TV. I'm so excited. I'll show you guys that too. This is my first TV purchase. Obviously my first apartment. I got it on Black Friday in Florida. But obviously I had it delivered here. So... I'm excited to have a TV in my room. Like for nights like this, I would love to just lay down and watch TV. And if you know me or if you've been, wow, well, my nails are so bad too. If you know me, you know that I don't do TV. I don't like TV. I didn't grow up watching TV, but I just want to cuddle up in my bed and watch something, but I don't have it out. Um, So that's okay. I'm literally just going to force myself to sleep after I clean up a little bit. And then tomorrow, I hope to wake up with a lot of energy so I can get more things done. So I hope you guys have an amazing night and I will see you tomorrow.